Well, clearly the Chinese like their stamps. No, I stand corrected. The Chinese love their stamps. And aren't they lovely? I guess, I don't know, they look like uh, the Chinese don't have Christmas, do they? But they, they look like some special occasion stamps. And uh, this is a package that took two weeks, two weeks to reach me in the UK from the time the... Uh, China Post tracking said that it left China, left Beijing. And this is a package that I've been waiting for, which contains three medals that were missing. These are the Dragon and Phoenix medals that uh, didn't arrive because um, a new batch were minted uh, by the Nanjing Mint for the Dragon and Phoenix Silver Edition, which was a complete sellout. And uh, I'd managed to get hold of a couple of these medals for people on the silver forum and uh, there was one medal annoyingly one medal missing from the consignment so i couldn't send out the pair of medals that uh, this guy had wanted um, and also my own two medals were also missing so this um this consignment has three of the ultra rare silver with a little bit of copper in the middle and brass on the other side proof um, dragon and phoenix or auspicious medals from the nanjing mint there are about 70 uh, i don't know exactly but 70 to 80 i would imagine of these medals that were minted out of the 199 edition and uh and they're beautiful they're absolutely beautiful i think in some ways these second edition ones look even better than the first and the first were really good so uh, i'm going to have my two um, graded and maybe conserved as well, but definitely graded by uh, NGC. I've already got a couple there at the moment being graded. Um, and then I'm going to, well, I don't know what I'm going to do, probably just add them to my collection at the moment. Um, they are absolutely lovely. So just a quick reminder, medal number one was, if I remember, copper and uh, silver on one side and brass on the other. Medal number two was antiqued with enameled red over the antique medal. Medal number three is silver with copper in the middle and brass on the other side. Medal number four is, let me see, silver on the other side, but copper and brass on the, on the other side, if you see what I mean. So four variations so far. And there is in fact a fifth variation coming up being minted at the end of June, and this will be an antiqued version as well. So I've got two special um, certificates. I've got 55 and 66, and these have both been given to me uh, as a special present by, uh, by the sponsors of the medal, um, been reserved for me, and I've managed to get these two signed by the designer of the medal as well. So they've both got the designer, uh, Chung Chan Fang, and he's signed these on the back with hopefully auspicious and lucky certificate numbers. So there you have it. That's the minting of the Nanjing medal. Then we have another little package that arrived, which I'm going to show you uh, because it is a very, very beautiful coin. This is a coin that I was given uh, to send over to NGC for grading and conservation. Um, this is um, owned not by me, but by a member of the Silver Forum, and I'm doing a favour by sending it over with some of my own to, uh, to the conservation service. And this, I think, is one of the nicest um, panda designs. This is the 2003, and uh, I've got a silver version of these myself, which is also lovely. And uh, they have a version which is like frosted, and another one which is mirrored bamboo. And this one is the quarter ounce. Now, there's been something of a run on the half ounce pandas, uh, and you've probably seen a bit in the press that uh, those have gone up in price quite a lot. Um, the next one seems to be the quarter. So these quarters, uh, I think, are in pretty short supply everywhere. 
you can't find them very easily. They have gone up in price a lot. I wish this one was mine. It isn't, but um, I hopefully it'll get a good grade and be conserved by uh, by NGC when they uh, when they finish with it. It'll be quite interesting to see what they do with it. It looks to me in pretty good condition. Tiny bit of rubbing, a um, couple of specs, and we'll see what the um, conservation service managed to do with this and whether they managed to get it up to a reasonable grade when it goes into uh, an NGC slab. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, please subscribe, please like. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers and I'm planning a little giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. Hopefully it won't be long before that happens.